Some things in life are just made to go together. Peanut butter and jelly, rock and roll, the sun and the moon. These things got Blake Sanders, the owner of KS Services, thinking. What can we pair with our superior heating and air service to make our customers even happier? Plumbing Experts by KS Services was born. So the next time you have a clog line, leaky faucet, or water running all through the house, know there's a reputable company out there on call just a click away. Call KS.com, your trusted source for heating and cooling and now plumbing. Weather Extreme Video, this is the afternoon edition for Friday the 22nd of February. I'm James Spann, getting set for a weekend with a chance of severe storms, especially over the northern and western side of the state tomorrow night. Let's dig in and talk about it. There's the upper look, the big trough, that thing that's been sitting there all week long in the western states, finally beginning to lift out. That brought snow to Las Vegas and Los Angeles, uh, flooding to parts of the southwest. That's coming our way. Of course, we've been stuck in this moist air mass with a stall boundary nearby, but at least some people are getting some sunshine today. Look at this. There's the visible satellite view. South of Interstate 20, the sky is partially sunny. But north of Interstate 20, it's cloudy, but at least the rain is diminished. That was the radar at 242. Only a few scattered showers near that front over Clay and Randolph counties. A few showers up in northwest Alabama, nothing too heavy. And that's about it. We sure need the break from the rain. And again, a big contrast today. North of the front, we have 50s. South of the front, Montgomery at 84. Alexander City and Auburn at 81. Like a summer preview there. And everybody goes in the 70s tomorrow. Around the region, look at the contrast. Nashville, 49. Jacksonville, Florida, 86. How about that? And up north, it's still very, very cold. But thankfully, that kind of stays up north for a while. Got blizzard warnings in effect for parts of Kansas, Nebraska, and Iowa. They're going to be in the cold air sector of the storm as it lifts out. And, of course, in the warm sector, a lot of rain. We've got flood watches for much of the east and the deep south. No change in the Alabama watch. It's for the northern half of the state. And a number of counties are under aerial flood warnings because of rain earlier today. Those are the counties in the lighter shades of green. Severe weather outlook through tonight. We've got a marginal risk west of the state. And this is the new weather, a severe weather outlook for tomorrow and tomorrow night. We have an enhanced risk for parts of the Mid-South. The broad risk itself runs from the western Gulf Coast region up into parts of the Ohio Valley. These are the probabilities a 30% chance of severe weather within 25 miles of a given point in the enhanced risk. The area is there in red. And the, the hatched area, that means there could be a few significant severe weather reports and maybe a strong tornado or two in that zone. And on their late morning update, the SPC guys pulled the enhanced risk back into northwest Alabama. They took it out early this morning. Now it's back around the shoals down toward Hamilton. The standard slight risk is far east as Demopolis, Birmingham, Scottsboro. And we've got the marginal risk as far east as Citronelle, Prattville, and Heflin. Uh, no severe storms are expected for Montgomery south and east, and we'll talk more about the specifics here in a moment. Day three, which is Sunday, a marginal risk on the Gulf Coast, and dry air takes over for the northern two-thirds of the state. Rain for the next seven days, big numbers on the upper Pacific coast. And again, around here, rain amounts uh, about one inch for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. And thankfully, after tomorrow night, we'll be dry for a while. So model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. The trough lifting out, going somewhat negative tilt. Still got the upper high over the Bahamas. A deep surface low over Kansas. Blizzard conditions are likely north and west of the surface low. South and east of the surface low, a chance of strong to severe storms. Tomorrow night at midnight, the low moves rapidly up to Lake Michigan. Blizzard conditions for parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Upper Michigan, and a trailing band of storms down through here. This is the uh, high-res NAM, the three-kilometer NAM, valid tomorrow evening at 8 o'clock. And the, this run a little slower uh, it's got storms over northwest Alabama and really not that organized, which is a little concerning when they're out there kind of by themselves. Uh, that gives the uh, updrafts a little better chance of rotating. And this is 1 a.m. early Sunday morning, just after midnight tomorrow night, and you can see the storms advancing onto the south and east. So uh, this run a little slower. Instability values a little higher on this run. You can see that narrow tongue of unstable air coming up in advance of the surface front. Again, this is valid at uh, 1 a.m. Sunday, and the shear value is very high. This is the storm relative helicity, 0 to 1 kilometer, and certainly that would support a few rotating updrafts. 
terms of the timing, this is the uh, ongoing forecast we have for northwest Alabama, 6 until 11. Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. And again, no severe storms expected south or east of Montgomery. And you know the drill. Be sure you can hear warnings and be sure your friends know about this. Like we say, if you watch these videos, we know you're good, but we want you to help us out and let your friends know about the risk. Hey, Sunday, we're in good shape. The sky becoming partly to mostly sunny. The high should be in the middle 60s. Should be a beautiful day. Monday, we start the day in the 30s, the high close to 60. And Tuesday, mostly sunny with a high in the upper 60s. Wednesday, moisture comes back. We could see some rain, especially for the southern half of the state. Thursday, maybe a few showers about. Nothing really heavy on these days, it looks like. And here's a week from today, Friday, the 1st of March. Trough north and west of the state. A deep surface low over Missouri, and the air should be fairly unstable. We'll see if we might have some thunderstorms uh, maybe toward the end of next week. But again, we don't expect any flooding issues like we have going on now. Let's go out 10 days, Monday, the 4th of March. Heights are below average over much of the North American continent. That looks uh, uh, like some rain maybe for the Gulf Coast region. Check the numbers coming off the GFS Ensemble. Tomorrow should be the warmest day of the next 15, if this verifies. Highs well up in the 70s. And then after that, highs mostly in the 50s and the 60s for a while. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Well, I've notes in the blog. My next video will be posted here Monday morning at 7 o'clock. And if you can, join us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.